Hey, hey, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. Are y'all ready for another message? Come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get your blanket, get your pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to, put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. Okay, now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey Pisces, it's Dana. Pisces, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What's going on, you guys? How is the water feeling these days, Pisces, huh? How you feeling about things, Pisces? We're going to do a big old throwdown for Pisces. Let's see what the cards have to say for you guys, yeah? Now, you're seeing me shuffle these cards, right? You're seeing me shuffle these cards, so I don't want to hear nothing about reversals, okay? I read reversals. If you don't read reversals, you're only using half the deck. You're only playing with half a deck, Pisces. We want to be playing with the whole deck. So let's see what this message is going to be for you guys today. Let's see what the cards have to say. So y'all give me just a minute. Give me just a minute. Let me get them situated. And I will uh, shuffle and pray and channel the message. And then I'll read it to you. I'll lay out all the cards. I'm going to confuse you for a good second. But I'm going to sew together a story. And I'll go back and read it to you from the top. Okay, Pisces? So let's, let's just see what these cards have to say for you today. You ready? Let's do it. Ah, interesting. All right. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective. Ooh, they want to talk. Settle down, everybody. I have the collective with me, Spirit. The collective of Pisces. Spirit, what is it that this particular Pisces, that this particular message is for, needs to know? What does the Piscean need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what is coming towards the Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good. Spirit, please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Please tell me where the stopping point is for Pisces. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top, Spirit. What is, ah, right there. Whoo, that's golden. That feels great right there. Okay, you ready, you guys? Let's go. One. Two, okay, and three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, the three of wands. Get ready, Pisces. The six of cups, uh, memories, nostalgia, children, the past. The ace of pentacles in reverse. The king of wands and the world to the queen of swords, the king of cups, and the six of wands. Fantastic. Okay, then the story just starts, and we're going to start up here like that, okay? All right, so these will come in handy at the end of this reading, and they're all going to make hella sense to everyone. All right, the Five of Swords. Let's see, can you all see that? Five of not really, but i got to make room, okay? So the Five of Swords in reverse. This is uh, letting go of some kind of mindset, freeing up some kind of a mindset. Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is a lack of well-being, greed, um, debt, materialism. The Ace of Cups talking to us about emotional growth or some kind of love. The Five of Cups in reverse moving on from some kind of loss, regret, despair, or disappointment. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse talking about unmet expectations, can't fix it, can't work it out, okay? The Seven of Cups, options, choices, decisions to the Prince of Cups. Look at all of the water energy in these cards. Wow. 
Seven of Cups to the Prince of Cups, um, where it is maybe you want to put your feelings. Ace of Swords in reverse in the center of the reading. This is talking about not seeing something clearly. The Tower, some kind of implosion. The Prince of Wands in reverse, frustrations, delays. The Fool in reverse, um, not the direction, not the path. Death in reverse, a transformation. Judgment, some kind of decision, boom, that puts your free will in the space of the universe. Fantastic. The Ten of Wands, burden, struggle. The Seven of Swords in reverse, breaking free of this of some kind of mindset. The Empress, um, possibly you, possibly someone else. The Lovers, a significant relationship. Eight of Swords in reverse, to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, to the Eight of Cups in reverse, to the Prince of Pentacles in reverse, to the Four of Swords, the Hangman. I, I'm telling myself a story in my head here, so bear with me. The Alchemist in reverse, and the Devil to the Two of Cups. And then we start again, the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Wands in reverse, Balance, the Chariot in reverse, the Ten of Cups in reverse, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. King of Swords in reverse and Temperance. Princess of Swords in reverse to the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the King of Pentacles in reverse to the Star. Okay. All right. Let's make some sense out of all this. What's all this about? What is it all about? Let's make some sense of it all. The AC just kicked on. I'm sure y'all can hear that, but you know what? It's freaking hot. So we're just going to deal with the AC noise. So the Five of Swords in reverse, letting go of some kind of mentality. The Page of Swords, possibly communication, maybe a new mentality. And Justice in reverse, an injustice, unfair, not in your best interest, possibly some kind of lack of accountability, lack of accountability to the Ace of Swords in reverse. Confusion lack of clarity, not seeing something correctly. Six of Pentacles in reverse, talking about debt, greed, materialism, not sharing in life to the King of Pentacles in reverse, uh, domineering, controlling, the High Priestess in reverse, um, ignoring some kind of intuition to the Empress. Okay. Alrighty then. All right, Pisces. Okay, this is what's going on, all right? This is the tea right here, Pisces. A couple of things y'all need to know about me before we get started is that I'm told I have a propensity to be inappropriate. If that bothers you, um, this neighborhood's too rough for you. The waters are too choppy, Pisces, and you need to s swim to uh, smoother waters, okay? Um, I, uh, probably will swear and I may or may not smoke my vape while I'm telling this story. So if any of that bothers you, you must go someplace else. All right, here we go, Pisces. This is what's going on for you guys. Okay. So five of swords in reverse is the root card that came out. This is about letting go of some kind of mentality. It's about being open to change um, it's also sometimes about a little bit of past resentment, okay? So maybe some past resentment that you have, maybe you need to loosen up and let go of that a little bit, okay? Why? Well, the Page of Swords. There is some kind of communication that is, I believe it's incoming. I believe it's incoming communication, okay? And it is somehow, some way, not in your best interest. It's an injustice. Perhaps it's communication coming into you about an injustice. Either way, it's not in your best interest because that's major arcana, okay? Ace of Swords in reverse. Um, you're not seeing something clearly. There is a lack of clarity here with whatever this communication is, and you're not going to see it, obviously, with justice in reverse, right? You're not seeing something, okay? I asked, what was this communication? What is this about? And it's the tower, okay? Some kind of implosion that has, I believe, recently happened in your life, okay? Uh, maybe you got in a fight with someone, maybe there's an argument, 
in your circle somehow, some way, something didn't work out, and now someone is coming in with some kind of a message and you're not seeing the whole picture clearly for some reason and it's not in your best interest with justice in reverse. The moon. This is the struggle, the proverbial human struggle between that which we know to be true in our guts and that which we just really don't want to accept as the truth. So in regards to this situation, the communication, what the underlying thing is, is that Pisces in the moon card is struggling with what they know to be true about the situation and what they wish wasn't really true. And that's the confusion of the Ace of Swords, not seeing clearly. And Justice in Reverse is saying it's an injustice, watch out, communication with the Page of Swords and the past resentment that you're holding on to um, plays into that moon card, plays into the, the struggle, right? Because I think you feel some kind of loss since this tower happened, and if this hasn't, hasn't happened for you already, um, it might be coming, so you might want to just take a step back and reevaluate everything. Um, I, this, if this were your cards and I was reading for you, we'd know exactly what that is, but this is ambiguous, right, because it's for a group of people. Okay. You feel some kind of loss, okay? The High Priestess in Reverse says that you are disconnected from this person who is bringing in the communication. Five of Pentacles in reverse. They are coming out of the cold. To the Queen of Swords, to speak some kind of truth, to say some kind of truth, possibly some kind of an air sign, possibly a Gemini, but don't, that's just for shits and giggles, okay? My readings aren't about your, your zodiac sign. So, the Queen of Swords, you're getting some kind of information, okay? To the Fool. Um, the fool, I think the information that you're getting is that someone wants to have some kind of a restart with you with the fool right here. But this being major arcana and being your advice is to bounce in a different direction, to go in a different direction. King of Swords, look at that. That's the return communication to the King of Swords. And this is the Pisces bossing up here. Um, and laying it down like the way that it it needs to be laid down. And, okay, all right. So there's some kind of some kind of crumbling, some kind of impl implosion, and some kind of situation, circumstance, or relationship in your life. Okay, um, you hold some resentment for this. Okay. Um, you're not seeing clearly, though, because you struggle with what it is that you know to be true about the situation, but that you really don't want to accept as a truth. This person wants to come out of the cold. You are di you are disconnected from this person with the High Priestess in reverse, right? This is Pisces, um, the card of Pisces. The High Priestess in reverse is Pisces being disconnected, okay? Five of Cups, loss, regret, despair, disappointment person's coming out of the cold with this communication right here, okay? Speaking their truth. They want a new beginning and a new journey, and Pisces returns their truth with the King of Swords. The Fool being your card is saying to go in a different direction. The Fool is always going someplace, okay? So, the tower, as far as major arcana in you, says you need to reconsider the foundation that you were trying to create upon in the first place because it doesn't have what you need to hold the weight of what it is you want to build there, okay? The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Not giving, receiving, sharing in the prosperity of life. This is also a card about debt and materialism. I'll explain. The King of Pentacles in reverse. Um, a lack of success. Someone who used to hold title but doesn't hold title anymore. Um, this King of Pentacles in reverse to me feels like your person is coming back 
and trying to get back into your good graces because they have no other choice for some reason. They have no other choice for some reason than to get back into your good graces again. High Priestess in reverse again, second time in this reading. This is Pisces being withdrawn, Pisces not really caring so much. But on the superficial level, this High Priestess is saying that this person is keeping secret from you their motivations to re-engage with you, okay? Pi the Empress comes on top of this. This is Pisces right here. The Empress knows her worth. She stands in her power. She follows her intuition, and she manifests according to it. She is the bomb, okay? She's the shit, and this is the stance that Pisces is taking. Because remember, you returned communication as the King of Swords right there. And the King of Swords is a little bit sharper than the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords has a little bit of tact to what it is that she says. The King of Swords just fucking slays it. Okay? So Pisces slays it. Because Pisces knows their worth. I also want to point out that this empress could be a mother figure or a sister figure to someone as well. But Pisces knows their worth. It's your reading, Major Arcana, speaking to you, your life lesson. You know your worth, okay? Because of that, the Wheel of Fortune um, talks about a turning point. A turning point for you personally. A turning point, possibly, Two of Pentacles, to balance out this situation. Perhaps the truth that you spoke here with that King of Swords is it's my way or the highway and I will not and shall not put up with your bullshit anymore. If you want a piece of what I got, then you're going to have to behave yourself according to the way that I want you to behave yourself. And if you can't do that, then you can't have some of what I've got. Interesting. Okay. The Ace of Cups. Um, you got feels vested here, Pisces. Feels. You got big feels vested here. Hold on, let me get myself in order. Big feels vested here. Okay. Okay. The root card is the Five of Cups in reverse. Moving on from loss, regret, despair, and disappointment to the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Talking about can't fix it, broken, unmet expectations. Um, unmet expectations along the lines of perfectionism, right? Along the lines of, of it's not the way that you want it to be, okay? But you got feelings here, and the only way you're going to move on from the unmet expectations is if things are done the way that you expect them to be. The, it, it's a, if this person treats you the way that you lay down the law and expect to be treated, then you guys can party. But you can't party if this person is going to continue to disrespect you somehow, okay? Three of Cups in reverse talks about a third party interference, a third party situation to the King of Cups in reverse, some kind of emotional manipulation, okay? Five of Wands, some kind of conflict, and the Two of Wands, you have to make some kind of a decision about what direction you're going to take this because your future is really on the line here. And it's it's like, you know, if I if I if I get into this again, this is what my future is going to look like. If I don't get into this again, this is what my future is going to look like, right? So you're really contemplating and contemplating. You're very conflicted. This card is also a little bit about some kind of competition, okay? So maybe your person is going through some kind of a breakup and they want to get back into your good graces so they can either use you for some kind of support, emotional support, or maybe even some kind of financial support. Um, interesting. So the King of Cups in reverse, emotional manipulation, the Three of Cups in reverse, third party situation. Maybe this person is going to have someone else reach out to you 
and um, try to open the door for them to come back in somehow, some way. Huh? I'm going to ask one more about this. The Ace of Cups again, right? You got, you got feels invested in this. Okay, so Spirit, tell me please, this third party situation, what do you mean by this? The Hermit, soul searching, introspection, soul searching, introspection, inner guidance. What do you mean by this Three of Cups? I'm so confused. The Knight of Swords in reverse. Oh, they're telling me I have it upside down. They're telling me, ha, huh, in this card that I'm not thinking straight. I'm not thinking straight. Straight, right? Straighten it. I'm not thinking straight. Put it in the upright because it really, really has me stumped. And I just don't understand why there would be third party intervention. So thank you, spirit. I will put it up straight. Okay three of cups. It makes, it just, it flows now, right? So you have feels invested in this. Okay. Um, moving on from loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. You're kind of down for it. Eight of pentacles in reverse, as long as uh, your expectations aren't um, dismissed. Okay. The three of cups in the upright, wanting to reunite and celebrate, right? That's what this message is about. That's what that truth is about. Pisces knows their worth, though. The king of cups in reverse. Remember, though, back here, they're hiding their motivations from you. So this king of cups in reverse is about emotional manipulation, okay? Five of wands, conflict, okay? Conflict, conflict, conflict. Why? Ace of Cups, because again, you have big feels involved here, okay? This emotional manipulation back here goes to why you are struggling in the moon right here, because you know inside of you, Pisces, you know why this person is coming back to you, because they need something that you have, okay? Whatever that might be. They have, you have something that they need, okay? And you know full well the motivations, but in this conversation right here, the real motivations were never revealed by the person who wants a new beginning and a new journey. And Pisces is like, I see straight through this. I'm going to keep bouncing. I'm going to go past this whole situation because I don't want this bullshit again in my life. But you got tons of feels invested here. Tons and tons of feelings invested here. Did your future, right? With or without this situation. And then the hermit says, sit down and let's do some really deep soul searching and introspection. About what? Unmet expectations can't work out. The hangman. You got to take a step back reevaluate this whole situation, possibly surrender to what it is that you need to surrender to and come out on the other side with some kind of new perspective. Eight of Wands, a new perspective that takes you in a different direction because these wands and this card, look, these wands and this card are going out of this reading. They're going away from all of this, okay? So, new perspective um, that will motivate you to go in a different direction. Temperance in reverse, because what is here is imbalanced. This situation makes you leak from the bottom. Whatever this situation is right here with this person or, situ or circumstance, okay, whatever this is right here, it, 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 makes you leak from the bottom. It either steals from your emotions, from your mind, from your security or your sense of well-being, or from your inspirations, aspirations, or desires. Somehow, some way, you give up some of that to be in this situation. And that's why these cards are telling you to have a new perspective and go in a different direction because the goal is to be balanced in everything. 
The goal is to have so much peace of mind, so much internal inspiration, so much emotional peace, so much sense of well-being that anything and everything that drips into it just flows over onto everybody else. Okay. In the reverse, this sucks some of that out and you become deficient and that's why it's not in your best interest. But you know that because you laid down the law and the king of swords. Okay. Seven of wands in reverse. Um, protection, self-protection. The four of wands, peace and happiness, a transformation after this tower moment over here. Six of Cups, warm fuzzies, let's get it all back together again. The world, let's change it, let's, let's, let's go, let's do it again to justice. Uh, I'm sorry, I apologize, um, all of that good stuff. That's what this person has given to you. You, your message is to reconsider everything, the Eight of Wands, so you can make some kind of a change here. Why? Because it, it steals from you. Um, defend yourself. Protect yourself. Why? The peace, the happiness, the safety, the contentment um, that this relationship offers for you somehow. Because remember, you got big feels in here. What you got, this person wants, but there's also some kind of an exchange that brings you some kind of contentment or peace. Okay? The tower in reverse. Um, for you, what this is saying is um, that you need to pull yourself up from the rubble of the tower, brush yourself off, and have the personal transformation of understanding that this isn't where you are supposed to build because it cannot bear the weight of what it is you want it to be. Six of Cups, warm, fuzzies, nostalgia, memories, family, home, the world. Major Arcana being your advice in this situation is bring this cycle to a close so you can learn what it is that you need to learn from this about yourself because remember you're finally sitting in your power with the Empress and the King of Swords, right? You know your self-worth and you're not about to put up with whatever fuckery this was over here ever again, okay? The world close the cycle out. Justice. It's in your best interest and it is accountability for your journey to have your boundaries, draw your limits and refuse to allow someone to suck the life out of you somehow, some way. All right. Seven of Cups. Options, choices, decisions, fantasy, illusion. It's illusion. What's the illusion that this can ever be any really different than it ever has been? Seven of Pentacles. Look back on the motivations of why this whole thing has come around again. I don't think this is your first go-round in this type of situation with this person. The Prince of Cups. You want to be kind and 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 exchange with this person. Nine of Swords in reverse, but you are afraid that it will happen again. Something like I said, there's been. This isn't your first go round, right? It's an immense amount of anxiety and despair. The idea of reengaging with this thing gives you a great deal, a, a, a great deal of anxiety and despair. Ace of Swords in the center of your reading. Not seeing something clearly. Not understanding something clearly. Why? Queen of Swords in reverse. Because what you're not seeing about the situation is that this person is insincere about their apology. Okay? Insincere about their apology. Page of Pentacles. Manifesting anew. Queen of Cups, there you are, Pisces, right? Being all in your feels because you love this person somehow. Six of Wands in reverse, a lack of a lack of success, a lack of reward to the Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. Okay, if you re-engage with this, Pisces, 
knowing that this person's knowing in your soul not just from this tarot card reading knowing in your soul that this person is insincere about their re-engagement and apologies to you okay um, if you accept forgive and forget knowing what it is that you know in your guts about this situation and you decide to create here again out of your love, compassion, and empathy for this person, you will experience yet again with this same person a lack of success. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction for the moment, the tower, but yet again another tower moment will happen with this person. Prince of Wands in reverse talks about frustration. Frustration, delays, tell me about this Tell me about this Prince of Wands, please. Tell me about this Prince of Wands. The Seven of Swords tried to flip out, but I didn't catch it in time. Yes, okay, this is even better. So the Prince of Wands, the struggle, the burden that you have with this person, the Ten of Wands, the struggle and the burden that you have with this person is the frustration that you experience, Ten of Cups, trying to create some kind of loving, emotional, fulfilling relationship. Because remember the Nine of Cups right here, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. You so badly want to have a relationship with this person, Three of Swords in Reverse, that you might be willing to forgive and forget and let go and get right back to the way that things were. But it's not in your best interest. What's in your best interest is to bring this cycle to a close. What's in your best interest is to stand in your power as the Empress and the King of Swords. That's what's in your best interest. The Fool in Reverse. Foolish. Foolish. Naive. Foolish. Foolishness. Not the fool that was up here telling you to go, to go in a different direction. The fool in reverse is stuck here. If you keep yourself stuck here, it's foolishness. Eight of Wands in reverse. It's going to delay your whole everything. Your whole everything. Because you're going to learn this lesson again. Because this is the first, this is the first tower. This is the second tower. There's been tower before tower before tower, and there will continue to be tower after tower after tower with this person because they are insincere about their reasons for wanting to be in some kind of a relationship with you. What you have to give them is what they want. They don't necessarily want you. Okay? All right. Two of wands in reverse. Um, not for your future. This is, this is a card about being, it's about a fear of the unknown, a lack of planning, not being able to create the future that you want to create because you didn't have foresight. Four of Swords says, sit down, contemplate, reevaluate, come to terms with the grief, the sorrow, and the pain that creates the anxiety every time you think about reengaging with this person to death in reverse and have yourself a merry old personal transformation personal transformation about your self-worth about your self-worth despite the love that you have for this person that puts you in a position of a rebirth judgment is drawing a line in the sand and saying this all stops here today, I will not tolerate not another bit of it. I just simply will not. Wheel of Fortune. This creates a turning point in your life. A huge turning point in your life. Because now you're standing in your self-respect. The Fool. Brand new beginning. Brand new journey. Brand new quantum leap into a leveling up of your spirituality because believe me self-love comes from spirituality it truly does when you understand source energy you can't help but to be absolutely in love with yourself The Fool, a brand new beginning, a brand new journey. The Five of Cups, moving on from loss, regret, despair, and disappointment to the Seven of Cups in reverse. And, and, and walking away from the temptation to succumb to your feelings 
for this person when it comes to accepting the way that this person treats you or interacts with you. Okay, these are all just a huge amount of repeat, okay? A huge amount of repeat. So I'm just going to buzz through them quickly and then we'll talk about the cards on the bottom of the deck. Ten of Wands, period, drop down, new paragraph, okay? Recap, Ten of Wands, burden, struggle, burden and struggle, Seven of Swords in reverse, break free from this futile mentality. You do not have to be burdened with this situation. You do not. You do not have to be burdened with it. To the Empress and the lovers, stand in your self-worth, self-love, self-worth. Self-love, self-worth. Again, this kind of hints to a mommy situation, okay? Significant relationship, the empress, mother energy. Wherever it hits for you, like I said, if these were your cards, we could know exactly what it is that we're talking about here, but I don't because I don't know who I'm talking to. Get your cards read, know your story. Otherwise, take it with a grain of salt, okay? So, you standing in your worth, your self-love with the lovers, the eight of swords uh, all tied up in your head because you know a ten of pentacles in reverse. There's no foundation to build here. The eight of cups in reverse. There's emotional vacancy here. Prince of pentacles in reverse. You've been here before. You've been here for a long time. Four of swords. Get it together. Come to terms with why you allow this to keep happening. The hangman again. Um, sit back, reevaluate the situation, and come out on the other side with a new perspective. The alchemist in reverse to the devil, because somehow you are being manipulated. Uh huh. The only reason this person is making nice with you is because they want something that you have. Two of Cups. They want to have this relationship with you. Nine of Swords. But internally, it just gives you anxiety. It does. The whole thought of everything gives you anxiety. Nine of Wands in reverse <clears throat> talks about defending yourself. On edge, defensive. Two of Pentacles. Balance out your sense of well-being. The chariot in reverse. To balance out your sense of well-being, don't go in this direction. Ten of Cups in reverse because you're not ever going to be able to create that Ten of Cups that you want to create in this situation. Five of Pentacles, you're always going to get left out in the cold. King of Swords in reverse because this person just don't fucking care. They just don't. Temperance. You need to be tempered. Temper yourself and, and value your peace. Your peace in your life is the most important thing that you could possibly have, and it is priceless. Protect your peace. Princess of Swords in reverse, because this person is all talk, no action, undelivered promises. The Queen of Wands, all they want to do is succeed somehow, some way from their engagement with you, Pisces. Prince of Swords, and they're coming at you. They're coming at you. King of Pentacles in reverse. They're coming at you, but they are um, coming at you because they are not in a position to do anything else for some reason. And the star talks about your path and your purpose. The direction of your life, your path, and your purpose, six of wands, bottom of the deck, depends upon you overcoming this battle victory, progress, and success in your life depends upon you handling this situation appropriately. The King of Cups, despite your love, okay, despite your, your love for this situation, you need to look at it from a very mature perspective, a mature, controlled, calm, cool, collected perspective, and this will allow you to make the proper decisions for your life the world. It's time to bring this to a close. King of Wands, and you focus on your own personal growth and success. Ace of Pentacles in reverse to the Six of Cups because there's nothing to be had in the past. It's a repeat again. Three of Wands. Have some foresight. Have some foresight about how to overcome this particular little battle that this particular Pisces is having understand what the cards are saying to you and act accordingly. Know your self-worth, self-love, self-worth, 
do not allow someone to treat you a certain way and be aware that the only reason this person is asking for forgiveness in some way is because you have what they need somehow. All right, Pisces, I hope this helps someone. Namaste.